Any of you have a go-to signal chain for vocals? Sure. Yeah. Anything that's not distorted is uh -huh. amazing. Um, I go through phases. I go, you know, right now my favorite is a, a Brauner VM1 through a Vintech Mic Pre. I mean, I'd have to say, like, you know, just a standard, uh, like, U87, but um, I'm really hip on the, uh, on the Pendulum uh, uh, Quattro. It's pretty freaking amazing. So that's a good one. This is going to sound really lame, but it depends on the project. To yeah, me. totally. I mean, that's the thing, too, is, like Michael was saying, in the box or out of the box, mm -hmm. I've heard great-sounding records on a Mackie and terrible-sounding records on an SSL, so it's all dependent yep. upon yeah. Rec, uh, yeah. project. I use, a, I, use 80, I use an 800G Sony uh, with a Massenberg mic free and uh, compressor. There's nothing better than that compressor because it makes the vocal sound louder yet get softer. I haven't heard anything better than that. Uh, I, same thing, that, that's what uh, Umberto Cartica uses as well too on a lot of his projects. I just had a, heard a shootout between four different types of converters and um, the funniest thing is the cheapest one one. It was like a Which blind one? taste test. Uh, the Aurora's. Lynx Aurora's. Lynx Lynx Aurora's. Aurora's. That's yeah. the one I have. Yeah. Lynx? Lynx. Yeah. The Lynx box is one. Yeah. Over everything else. So I think the quality of the converter, and if your gain structure is right, um, you don't necessarily have to worry about going back and forth too many times, yeah. you know, um, if, if the gain structure is proper, if you're listening to noise. But quality of converters is a big thing. There is a difference between you know, an Avid box, uh, an Apogee box, an Aurora box, you know. So again, that, that homework is, you so know, and in our shootout here, the Lynx box one. Yeah, and so. they're talking about clocking. In the digital world, clocking is everything, how refined your clock is to make your, your tone, you know, a bad clock can make an audio signal sound like this. It's a little jittery. Um, when it's a very, very clean clock, stable clock, it's not as jittery. When you start going into other systems that have different clocks, yeah, you do get some things going. If you keep consolidating a track 100 times, by the time you get the 25th time of consolidating, doing math, it's doing math over and over as it consolidates, you will start having some phase relationship problems. You shouldn't overly do things, you know, to, to start deteriorating your sound. But in stereo tracks, if you do consolidate it, keep consolidating it and doing math over and over and over, you will hear some phase relationship differences in the audio. So you don't want to keep over, over processing it, but it doesn't hurt it, especially in the digital world, to do that a number of times. So Yeah, phase latency delay compensation. It's yeah. really important things to keep. Yeah. And I used 414s really early, a lot of 414s with C12 caps, which is, the new ones don't have that. They're a little different caps. 414s are very bright in their brittle. They need to be, you know, mostly anything that's on a 414 needs to be de -esced. You know, I just, a comment about microphones. Microphones are an engineer's toolkit. That is a paintbrush. A microphone is a paintbrush. I've got, you know, four or 500,000 in mics. I got U47s, M49s, you know, but, you know, from 10,000 to 15,000, and then, you know, got Audio Technicas for 500. Somebody might sound good on an Audio Technica before they get a U87, but that's a thing you learn with experience. Their voice might be better on a cheaper one and a more expensive. But just know, a limitation is a microphone. A microphone is a big limitation in your food chain, for sure, because the wrong microphone on a person can just totally make them sound thin, never bring out any gold out of it at all, so. And I just want to back up what Brian said, too. It really has to come down to skill. Just, it's skill. I could jump in a Lamborghini right now, and I wouldn't know what to do with myself. You know what I mean? So, it, you know. So but you could probably figure it out. I could probably figure it out pretty yeah. quick. But, you know, you don't need an SSL 9000. You don't need a million-dollar recording studio. It's yeah. all about skill and paying attention yeah. to that. Yeah, Being yeah. objective, just listening, using your ears. That's yeah. like the, end, end. the best thing would be to find somebody that is into your project and you as an artist and wants to bring out the best in that. Um, with that being said, uh, if it's somebody that's like, you know, got a name and, you know, is a higher level producer, that may not be the step that you need to take at initially. So I would say to find somebody that's kind of at your level in the sense of like, I'm trying to produce or I'm a really fantastic piano player or like, you know, they play at their church and they got like the band at the church and you just like kind of jam with them. I would say like, find somebody that clicks well with you and doesn't like, as a singer, right? You sing? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I was, I was just saying, like, as a singer then, for, you know, the artist you're talking about, somebody that allows them to feel comfortable, allows them to be expressive and not, like, limit how they are able to um, write their songs and deliver their songs. Because it may be different than what the producer is, like, used to. Mm -hmm. So they need to be open to that. And I think being 
just like having a good chemistry really is uh, important. Yeah, and Corey covered that too. Be good. <laughs> and I, I get would, heard. I, yeah, I just, would add one more thing. That's yeah. focus on the, the yeah. substance yeah. more than yeah. the style. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've seen people who like really think that. You know, they got to worry about their choreography, and they haven't finished one song yet. You know, so like, come on, a, a producer, focus on the most yeah. important thing, a producer, and then you'll be able yeah. to track the producer. A producer will hear that, hear hear that, and say, "Man, I need to use you on one of my tracks." But you need to get heard to get to the point of a producer saying, "I need to use you on one of my tracks." So.